Yo, this is Wiley, and right now it's Rewind TV. We're here, exclusive coverage of the Take That video. <laughs> The mad sounds and mad noises that we've got going on, we're emphasizing them like, like visually. And uh, like the girls, they're doing their stuff, like some slow mo stuff and mad stuff. So that when you speed it up, it goes like and just mad stuff. So that's gonna look good visually. Also, me live performance, all uh, four different clothes to wear. So we're gonna get the fashion icon thing going on there. And yeah, basically just. I think this video is going to hit hard on, on all the other channels, not like the AKA, but not just AKA. I'll need it to hit hard on Smash It, Kiss, blah, 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 like the main stations. I feel like trying to do something that I haven't done before, because obviously I do not want to fail. This time I need to sell 100,000 records without fail. I'm not even, I don't want to go out and say, everyone, I am going to do, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to do the work so that it generates the sales. That's what time it is for me. But I'm ready at 30, maybe 31, it'll kick in probably to, maybe I'll be Russell Simmons by 37. Producer wise, we've got Ballistic Beats. Uh, I produced on there, I've got K1 from Manchester. Mike Skinner. Bless Beats is produced on there. A guy called Darwood and Nathan Retro. They're two Manchester producers. They're doing some stuff with Jack and Archie. Uh, Chew Fu, Filthy Dukes I've got. Um, Boys Noise, got on there. Smasher, Diplo, Most Wanted. Grime Reaper, he's sick. He's a producer I'm working on at the moment. And uh, Shy FX. <laughs> Especially the people like Lethal B because they're like my old, not sparring partners, but they're like, we was we came up together sort of thing. Like whether we argued some days or not, we was all still level-headed music kids, you know what I mean? We didn't want each other to die or anything, like that. we just wanted to do music. I respect him as a musician, you know why? Because he's still here. And loads of people who was here the same time as me and him have maybe done one CD or not even done no CD. So people like Lethal B, Wiley, Kano, Dizzy Rascal, you can't really chat to them. Tinchy Strider, they're still here. I can feel what Cage is doing. I can feel it. Like, I know what Dizzy's doing. I mean, I can, I've witnessed it before, but I can feel the energy and power of not just Dizzy, but Dirty Stank, Belly of the Beast, and the whole, the whole thing. And, and, and it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good thing, because obviously I was part of it before. So to see them do it, and I'm like, right, so they've done it, I can do it. When it comes to that, I've got no hate for him, and I hope he hasn't got hate for me in that way. But um, I'm a big man now, man. I've got children, bro. And he's a, he, he's a big man from where he was. And yeah, we're, we're, we're past anything of that stuff, so. One day I hope he just hollers, man, because the studio session will be fire. Could do grime tune, it'll go. There'll be no limits to what me and him could actually do. 